Okay guys, so Eddie is already gone to court. We're gonna drop off the girls and then head that way. Kayla might have to go back to work for a couple hours and then afterwards we can finish the plans and shit that we have to do. Um, we're gonna go to Sedgwick, see my sister, and then um, gonna go to karaoke night. So, yeah. Um, we're not gonna have the girls at all the rest of the night. So I'm gonna do my mascara real quick. And um, yeah, today's a busy, busy day. We are dropping off the girls now over at Sarah's. Caleb, Brian, Amrith first. Ziva loves saying uh oh for some reason. So I'll see you guys here. So in a court bit. went well, and he is officially divorced. <laughs> and um, Caleb's at work. Um, he is supposed to be getting off here soon. He has to take one of his co-workers to work, or to home. He has to take one of his co-workers home, and then he will be home to pick me up. Eddie went to go meet with his mom, so Caleb and I are going to go to Walmart and do whatever um, we need to do before we head to Sedgwick. And then we are going to go to karaoke night, which you guys will see in a little bit. Um, Sarah and Henry are keeping the girls tonight. So, yeah. But I'll catch you guys. Hey, guys. So, bit. we are at Quick Stop. Hakui. <laughs> Hakui. <laughs> Getting um, his mom jewel pots. Then we're going to go to Safeway and get her meds and a few things. And then we're going to go to Walmart, I think. Well, my eyes be popping today. But, yeah. Eddie is still with his mom. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys here. Okay, guys. We are getting gas. So, yeah. Caleb. Eddie is, um, pumping the gas. You can see him in the... So yeah, I'll catch you guys here in a little while. I said Okay, y'all. So we're in Sedgwick, stopped by a couple places before we go see my sister. My sister will be home in about seven minutes. Um, she just got off of work. So I want to make this video about the people that are still fucking harassing me. Um, there's two people now that are harassing me, and I have got plenty of time. Do you not mind the heater in the background? The car is on, and we got plenty of gas. Um, but yeah, the heater is on, 
That way I don't freeze to fucking death. So let's see if I can like set y'all up. Perfect. Okay. So there's this new person. Uh, the username is like Dog Fungus, and it's called like Your Mom is the fucking TikTok page. I will literally put all the screenshots like literally right here and at the end of the video that way you guys can instead of pausing to read you can just watch till the end and then yeah see what this fucking person is saying someone's calling Caleb anywho um so this person decides to fucking harass me again on a video that has nothing to do with what they were harassing me about um actually it was their first few comments were about that and then they moved to a different video that has nothing and i mean nothing to do what they were harassing me about this person was just being an asshole to be a fucking asshole so here i'll put it at the end of this video at the end of the video um what TikToks they were harassing me on. I'm gonna have to mute one of them because of the audio. I don't want it to be copyright. Um, I don't know whatever. That's calling him. Um, anywho, so this person was basically attacking me because, again, my damn fucking dogs. So, I have two dogs. A German-Australian Shepherd mix and a pit bull of some sort. I don't remember the breed specifically, but it's a pit bull. We, um, the person that we got her, uh, got him from couldn't have the dog no more and um, decided to give it to us because we are trustworthy and we also had another dog. So Ro uh, Oreo and Rolo could get along and they could have a playmate. Oh, uh, that was Cody. Gotcha. Anywho, um, so, on, um, this person is staring at me, on TikTok, they only allow, like, 19 comments per video, I think, because after 19 comments, this bitch decided to go on to another video and harass me some more. So, at first, it was about the dog. Okay, listen, okay? And I know you're watching this because if you are on my TikTok, it automatically connects to my fucking YouTube. So I'm assuming you're watching this. Listen here, bitch. I take care of my dogs, okay? We feed and water them every single fucking day. The only reason why there's trash on the outside was because Oreo got into one of the garbage cans or the trash bags and we never got around to cleaning it but we are cleaning it because we are fucking moving so we live like trailer trash um excuse me honey like <laughs> okay whatever our house is very neat actually and it's not just because we're packing and moving Second, you want to make fun of the way that I look. This bitch, literally, you guys will see at the end of the video all the fucking mean things she, sh she said. She was basically attacking me because I have an eating disorder and I look sick, okay? I do not look good. I'll admit that, but having my second baby um, has helped my health tremendously. And I still have some of that baby weight. Yes, I lost a few pounds. And yeah, I still may look a little sickly. But I'm doing a lot better than what I was beforehand. If you guys watch my other fucking videos, you guys know how much I have not only grew up, but how my body and shit has looked since then and now. I have changed tremendously within that time aspect. So, quit coming at me because I have a fucking eating disorder. Here's another thing. She decided to bring my kids into the fucking picture. For one, your comment, one of your comments, didn't you lose your kid? No, bitch. That was my sister. My sister lost both of her kids, actually. 
I still have my kids. She lost her kids due to the exact same thing. Like, literally. The reason why my sister lost her fucking kids were to drugs. I don't do drugs, okay? I don't do drugs literally at all. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do any of that. It may look like I do drugs because of how skinny and shit that I am, but I can promise y'all that it's because of my eating disorder. It's got nothing, and I mean nothing to do with the fact that I'm fucking using drugs, which I'm not. So bitch, get your fucking facts straight. I don't know where the fuck you're getting these fucking facts from, but but they ain't right. Like, they ain't right at all, sweetheart. Like, I don't know what rock you crawled out from under, but like, I don't do drugs. I don't even drink. One, I can't do either one of those things because I'm underage. And I promised my parents that when I moved out, I would be on my fucking best behavior. And other than the fact that one, I got knocked up at a young age, and two, I lost my place to live for the time being, doesn't mean literally anything. It just means I fucked up. But you know what? All people fuck up. People make mistakes. People learn from those mistakes. And people grow up and be better from the mistakes that they made. I am learning from my mistakes and I am being better from the mistakes that I have made. So quit fucking coming at me, sweetheart. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm a young mom and y'all just think that y'all can like put me down and shit. Or if it's because I look a lot younger than my age or what the fuck ever it is, leave me the fuck alone. And I do wash my hair. Like, you see that fucking shine, honey? The only thing that I do is unnecessarily dye it all the time. That's all I do. But you know what? I usually do it due to stress and breakdowns. Other than that, and if you guys can see, my roots are already coming in. And I might just do touch-ups on the purple, but after the, other than that, I'm done dyeing my hair for a little while. So quit coming at me, okay? Because I'm fucking tired of this bullshit. Like, Instagram's already being a fucking bitch and keeps suspending my new accounts that I made after my other account got fucking hacked. Oh yeah, I got this Mountain Dew. I've honestly never tried this. I didn't even know it was around. But I don't honestly like it all that much, mainly because I don't like orange flavored stuff. But it's whatever. I'll still drink it because I got an energy drink for tonight when we go to karaoke night. <sighs> and then that user person is still fucking harassing me. I'll put those screenshots at the end of this video too. They haven't done it in a fucking fat minute. I have not heard from them in like a month or two. A month, I think. But yeah, now this new person is harassing me and I'm tired of it. Also, to the bitches who keep fucking around with my motherfucking dogs, letting them out and shit, now get the fuck off. I, like, y'all let our dogs out for the last fucking time to the point where I actually got a fucking ticket and I got to go to court December 12th at like 9 a.m. So, I'm gonna, like, print out all of the fucking screenshots, screenshots and shit, and I'm gonna write down literally everything that has happened since we moved in to this place to all the harassment and shit and see what the judge could do. So, I'm gonna be bringing up all of this in fucking court, and I hope they find you guys that are fucking harassing me, because I will put an end to it. I literally will. I'm fed up with it. I am just a 19 year old teen mom trying to get fucking through it, trying to have a little bit of fun in the meantime. And 
like, okay, I'm a 19 year old teen mom, okay? I'm a teen mom that has a lot of personal stuff going on, okay? Social media is my life. I do not like being harassed online because of shit that don't matter. I, for another one, I do not like it when y'all, especially bring up my fucking kids. My kids are innocent little fucking human beings. I am an amazing mom and Caleb is an amazing dad. So like, why, why do you guys decide to harass me? Like, tell me that. Why do you guys decide to fucking harass me? I literally want to know. What makes you guys think it's okay to fucking harass me? What the fuck is it? Like, yeah, I will have haters. I kind of expected that. But for for fuck's sake, come on now. Like, saying the shit that this bitch did, like, are you fucking five? And yeah, it really don't bug me. It really don't. But you commented, like, over 20 times, okay? On a spam of two videos. Okay? What did you accomplish? What makes you decide to look at your fucking phone screen and type all of that, thinking that it's going to affect me? I don't know either. Like, sweetheart, are you sick? Like... I am not afraid to out you motherfuckers. Like, literally. Fuck with me and my family, and I will fuck with you back. Say shit about my fucking family and my friends, I will say shit about yours right back at you. Also, that's another thing. Trailer trash tweakers, I think is what they called my entire fucking family. So obviously this person has a problem with us Hebels or the Bucklers or whatever because my family fucking tree is like literally all over the place okay it's getting a little hot yeah <laughs> i turned down the heater just one little bit but like talk shit about me is one thing talking shit about my kids is another talking shit about caleb is another thing but the real problem I have is when y'all talk shit about my family. Yes, the Hebels and the Stoners and the Schwarzkopf, whatever, do not have a good reputation in that town. In my town. I get it. But I'm not like them. I vape, yeah. But only when I'm stressed the fuck Waiting out for pairing. and overwhelmed. That was loud. Caleb has like this little plug-in thing and it, he must have gone like too far or something and it disconnected automatically. That scared the fuck out of me. But I am nothing like them. Do you guys see me losing my kids? Do you guys see me doing drugs? Drinking alcohol? Like I don't get it. Yeah. Me, like my family fucked me up. I'll admit that right now. They fucked me up. My parents did. My siblings did. All of them fucked me up. But. I've got kids to worry about. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Is my fucking kids. And my life from here on out. Like. Why is that such a bad thing you guys? Why is that such a bad thing caring about your kids and making sure that everything is going according to plan? And when it's not, fixing the shit that's causing it to go out of plan. Like, please tell me, why is that such a bad thing? Because I honestly don't know. Help me understand it. I will always have haters. I get that. And usually the comments don't fucking affect me like that at all but bringing my kids into this when it has nothing to do with them and especially calling me names 
and saying shit about my family, that's another thing. Like, that is when I will go fucking ballistic. Like, I've been called names my entire fucking life, so it really don't fucking bug me. But the fact that you specifically added my eating disorder because of how bad I look, that's really fucked up. That is a way to make a person do some stupid ass shit. And I will never do that because I've got kids to worry about. I love uploading videos. I love making content for y'all. But like I said, leave my kids' names out of your fucking mouth. Leave my name out of your mouth. Leave Caleb's name. Leave Eddie's name. Leave anyone that is in my fucking life out of your fucking mouth. Because it's got nothing to fucking do with you. And clearly you're a fan of me because you're harassing me on my TikTok. that make sense or are you just fucking bored and got nothing better to do like that's kind of what it seems and I like the way that I look I love the mom bod that I have going on I love the fact that I'm skinny and I lost the majority of that baby weight I love it all and I love you guys thank you guys for being so supportive even the people that hate me thank you guys for being supportive Seriously, I really do appreciate it. It don't affect me, you guys. All the fucking hate that I get, it don't affect me at all. It really don't. So if I were y'all, I just won't even try. Like, don't try. Don't fucking try. Because you're not gonna fucking succeed. You're not gonna get what you fucking want. You know why? Because life ain't fair, honey. Life ain't fair at all. I made this little portion of the video because I am just sick and tired of the bullshit. Y'all really need to grow up. Seriously. I did. And look where I'm at now. I'm moving out of my first home and moving into another. Yes, it was completely unexpected because of a disagreement with the landlord, but maybe it's for the best. Ever heard the saying, everything happens for a reason? I think it happened for a reason. My family is, all, actually we already found a place and we're going to go look at it literally on Monday and then um, since I'm working and everything, Caleb and I don't have to worry about the bills. So, we're just gonna move in, because we've got the money, ready to move in, so why the fuck not? But, yeah, we're moving out of our own home, our first home, moving into our second, and hopefully the harassment will stop. And if not, I will literally take it to the cops for the seventh fucking time. I will make sure this bullshit stops. I'll have the fucking proof, and then I'll block your ass, report your account, and have the cops just, yeah, deal with the rest of it. So if I were y'all, I'd stop. But I'll see you guys here.